Hi and welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking a flight in the King Air 350 and this is a dual turboprop aircraft. It is so beautiful. And I'm going to be flying over Salt Lake City. And we'll get a good look at that. So let's go. Alright, so here we are. You can see that massive turbine turboprop all these knobs and switches and levers and we have a master caution here I'm not sure what that's about what does it say pedo something or other maybe it needs heat is it too cold outside got a master caution hopefully it's not too cold it may need some heat pedo heat right there I'm going to turn that on Pedo heat, airframe de ice. All right, so it's a little chilly out today. This is all live weather, so it's probably you know 40 degrees or so. This of all the aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator is so amazing because you get that huge fan right there, big prop, and you have one on each side. You know these these airplanes with with the two engines are more to take care of if you have one in real life so the the maintenance cost can be more but you also have redundancy in the air plenty of runway wow look at that this airport has a very long runway more than we need for this little guy alright so gear up A nice rate of climb here so I was thinking to just go kind of for a a tourist flight although I didn't expect it to be this this much mist or cloud cover I was hoping to be able to see but this is uh, the flatland of Salt Lake City Getting a little altitude. It's like a ten lane highway there. Looks like some some vats for storing something, maybe gas, I don't know could just be wastewater that's probably salt right there that's probably a salt mine yeah but these turboprops are nice to have and you can see them plain as day in virtual reality
definitely recommend that uh, just about everybody that enjoys airplanes buys themselves a pair of these. That looks like a school or something right there. Academy. It's probably a mega church or two through here. Be in Utah. Here's the Great Salt Lake right here. I think that's what it's called, isn't it? The Great Salt Lake? I don't know. I should have looked it up before I got in the simulator. But either way, this is uh, the Salt Lake. You know, a lot of brine shrimp comes from uh, these salty lakes. I'm not sure which one they harvest it from. I think it might be this lake. But there's these little tiny eggs that people use in fish hatcheries to make little brine shrimp. And they're these just these little like crustaceans, and you put their eggs in water, and then they just hatch, and people use them to feed to to uh, aquarium fish, and you can just buy them by the the pound. They're these fine powder eggs. It's amazing. It's quite the resource. Well, you almost get vertigo over here with all this water can't tell the the altitude of the airplane pitch down all you see is a mirror when are you gonna hit it I don't know pitch back up so there's quite a bit of cloud cover here unfortunately I guess it looks kinda cool it might look better from a higher altitude The sunshine is nice. This King Air is a lot of airplane. I think this is the one you can get in the back seat and hang out. Here, I'll put on the autopilot for a moment. There we go. Gonna do it? It's not doing it. it. Says it's on. Doesn't seem to be leveling the aircraft. No, it won't let me go in the back now. Before the update, I could go to the back of the airplane and hang out. And I liked that a lot better. I knew they would ruin something. Can't let them go back there. They would be 
responsibly getting out of the pilot seat to take a nap. Now we have some altitude. It almost looks like a golf course down there, but it's just some kind of rivers and bodies of water, I guess. I think this is snow up here. Some of these mountains have snow on them now. So this is Thanksgiving when I'm recording this. Looks like it just updated and it went away. So it's November 25th, day of recording. pretty interesting. I love the view of the turboprops, but the view of the ground isn't nearly as good. But Salt Lake City is kind of interesting. Pretty densely built up. Uh oh. Going too fast. I about killed it right there. Almost felt like flutter. This must have been a lake bed at one point. It's the only way it would get so flat like this. It's interesting with uh, the mountains in the background and then just this flat spot and they put a city on it. House after house. Those look like businesses right there. More residential this way. I think that sun would bake away this vapor. You can see the motion reprojection just on top of the the turboprop there, at least some lines. I don't know if you can see that when I'm banking. That really bothers some people. I don't I don't mind. If I get a whole bunch more performance out of it, I'm fine with it. Probably roads that go through this canyon. Be interesting. Could definitely fly slope planes over here.
I don't know, it's kind of jagged though. Might not be the best for that. You might be able to find a spot though. You gotta wonder if there's any sailplanes that fly here or what. Any kind of slope flying, thermal draft flying. Looks like more residential here. Packed in pretty tight. No shopping center. That looks like a stadium, but it goes down into the ground. Like it's dug down. Baseball diamond. Looks like a couple holes of golf. Not too many. I don't see 18 there. If that's 18, I'd be surprised. That's probably just a quick nine holes. If that. There's something down there. I don't know what you would tell the air traffic controller if you wanted to fly like this. If you could just say freestyle or zigzags for a moment or... I think you're supposed to be at least 300 feet high but I, th I think they expect more like 3,000 for most legs of any type of a trip. You see people flying low but usually it's on approach. Lots of residential here. It looks like a stream that comes off the mountain or something. Maybe that's just the simulator. It's a little sparse over here. It's just not being rendered very well. Getting triangles. There we go. There we go. Is that the mega church up there? Maybe that's a union hall or something. Some trails over here. It's a good place to have a bike. Look at that.
It's like a gas station or something. Almost looks like a railroad coming in right there. Could be. Not sure. There's a salt mine or something. Maybe it's cement, I don't know. Looks like a mine to me. Could land on that. like some institutions over here maybe or businesses places of employment doctor's office lawyer wow this goes on for further that's cool with that bridge over the water and they got it right too awesome pretty much sometimes those don't render very well wow this goes on forever now did I get turned around? must have gotten turned around there's prep school there's the I don't know what I want to say Houses with a park. Get your own little park. Could fly a kite. There's power lines. Looks like a, a little community. Like, I think the mountains kind of make it where you're part of a clique, maybe a little bit, you know? Like, if you know somebody, it's are they on this side of the mountains or the other side? Because if they're on this side, you know, that's just me putting my spin on what I see here. I actually have no idea. All I know is Mitt Romney, and I don't know him. I just, uh,. Just saw him with a political um, career. Star of the show is this turban, though. The prop on it.
A little bit hard to get a view out of this thing. It's another big institution. Not sure what all that's about. Looks like somebody has a little bit of open land here, like farmland almost. Somebody wouldn't sell. Look at that. He said the price is going up. No, I'm holding. You guys build skyscrapers and then I'll sell. Look at that. Must be growing weed or something. Hey, at least you could fly a kite here. That's pretty cool. I lost the airport. I'm about ready to land, honestly. So that's Salt Lake City. Somebody has a green patch. Here's a little bit more too over here. That probably supplies all the restaurants with um, fresh lettuce or something. Some microgreens. Boy. Where did that airport go? I can't find the airport. Is that it? That's the airport? No. We have to get over here. Is it this? Maybe that's it. Shit. Whoops.
Looks like I can land right there. Somebody just went right through me. Whoa! It says it's an F A eighteen, but that's uh, it doesn't look like an F eighteen. It's got the body of like a regular jumbo jet. Must be Microsoft Flight Simulator not being ready for today. I'm saying there's somewhere to land up here. I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's right here, yeah. Guess you could. Here's another one. I don't think that's where I took off from though. It's this one. My guy just flew through me again. What a wacko. I can't say I haven't flown like that myself. Well, it might be a while. Guess this is farmland over here? Looks like it. Small communities over here. A few houses and clusters.
All right, it looks like that might be me right here on the screen. I was going to try for that one. I think that's where I took off. It's like a little artifact in my vision. I don't know if that's coming through, but it looks like it's tied to the airplane. It's right there on the horizon. Move up. Not sure what all that's about. Something left over from a process, I guess. Looks like a racetrack. Salt Lake City. No place like it, that's for sure. Really seems like its own little place, just the way it's set up like this. The mountains all around. It's just like kind of cookie cutters it out of everything else. Like, are you in or are you out? Saying our airport's over this way. It's not as foggy as it was. All I need to do is wait a little bit. I guess the fog's moved over that way. Oh, I think I see it right ahead. Lots of traffic. It's about well, it's um, Thanksgiving, so a lot of people are probably out driving right now. That would make sense. Did I see it, or did I not? Where is this place? There's an airport.
That light's a dead giveaway. That's an airport. There's a runway. Okay. That I can do. Let's go for some flaps. Got some flaps. Get some gear. Oh. There we go. You can hear them in the wind on this one. Nice and loud. Looks like it's uh, dual wheels there. Check my airspeed, make sure we're not going to die. Really hanging off the motors when you get above. I'm surprised there aren't more accidents where I may mean, realize they have redundant magnetos and all that, and maybe dual spark plugs and all that but you and they get kept up you know on a regular basis but you just it's amazing that more often an airplane doesn't just come out of the sky because they're truly hanging off the motor if the motors went out I wouldn't make it over there barely probably land at the edge of this neighborhood And there's communities where airplanes go over all day long. All right, so my speed's already kind of low. I got the flaps down, so I need power at this speed. Oh, it's telling me something about photogrammetry. Bad time. Drop the mouse. Here we go. I'm going to say ignore. Go back to piloting. Boom. There we go. I like coming in. I like hearing that the gear in the air causing drag and floating it on in. It's a good time. Anything you do seriously, though, if you say it's fun, it's a big no-no. So I guarantee in the piloting world, you don't say your job is ever fun. Yeah, I enjoy. Oh, you what? You kill people? That's just the way it is. It's unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. So I can say it's fun to exercise skill. Yep. There we go got to use the rudder as soon as you land because just being on the back wheels that nose will go this way and that and the rudder is the only thing that will keep it going straight I would assume also in a crosswind more so this is a taxiway So I could go this way. That's full left and it's not doing it. Seemed like a little down elevator sped it up. It's amazing the physics at work here. All accounted for.
I think they wanted me to park over this way. The car, you stay off the the yellow line with the airplane, you go right directly on it. It's interesting seeing that person walking. It's only updating every fifth frame or so, but it's still pretty cool. This should be good. Should be able to turn this puppy off somehow. I think this one you just take these and go all the way down to feather on the prop. All the way down. And one of these maybe? Low idle? Yeah, it's this one. Yep, there you go. So that put me to this screen. When you turn the engines off, it uh, puts an end to it. So that's the end of my fun, too. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was pretty cool. It's interesting to see all of Salt Lake City and just get a gauge for what's there. Look over the wings, left and right, and just you know see the institutions, the housing, the... Um, the agriculture on the other side, it was really cool. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I had to end the video. It's always fun flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's really quite a getaway. And um, I'm going to be kind of sad when I've explored all the major cities and already know what's there because the, the world is finite. And at some point, I will have seen it all. And the only thing that will really spruce it up any is to have an update maybe in 12 years or something. The new Microsoft Flight Simulator would be even better, and computers will be even better. But, uh, oh, well, for, the, for now, this is way over the top, and I'm super happy with today with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and VR. Always remember, you can shop at my eBay store, GB Hatchery. I'll leave a link in the description. I have all kinds of... Use clothing, shoes, um, just all kinds of items on eBay. I will leave a link in the description. Other than that, I hope you're safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next video.